I'm glad to be on. I think I'm excited to get on a podcast. This is my first one, so it's going to be very good. You've just got to put a little bit of work in and there's not much competition when you look at it because everyone's doing the same thing. I got fed up with my Xbox. I thought, what can I do? I started looking around, saw LinkedIn, saw all these YouTube videos of drop shift or whatever, and I found AI automation and I thought, let's give this a go and it's worked out quite well. My economics teacher is a big advocate for getting on LinkedIn. He's always telling us students, you need to grow your network, you need to get on there, start connecting with people, start, and then once you start, it gets a lot easier. The first bit's always the hardest part. And then when we got talking, it just blew me away that a 16-year-old who's got no real business experience behind him in terms of some of years compared to all the people that I get reached out to by could just be so nailing it by just being yourself. The secret of business is being a human. You've got to speak to someone like they're a human. Automation is just its inevitable that it's going to become big. You see everything about AI and everyone knows AI is huge. And then once I get chatting to business owners, I realize that this is something people really value. As far as automation goes, it's just, it, it's always going to be improving as well. Yeah, I think when we were, when we were chatting before, you summarized yourself as the outsourced automation department and i i love yeah. that one of the things that we touched on when we very first interacted on that post on linkedin actually was i was talking around the anxiety of being a business owner and how it's really stressful for me and Literally. you were commenting that you don't really feel that pressure on i can't imagine that must be really exciting for you that, that you can just take those oh, risks and not worry yeah i'm working full days pretty much so I think clients really value the fact that I'll just go away and I'll experiment with loads of things. Another thing that's really exciting about business, just solving things like you have an issue, you've got a problem, you just keep working to solve. My first client in February of this year through LinkedIn, we were just talking back and forth and he said, you know what, we both don't know what we're going to do in AI automation. Let's just go for it. He just paid me a hundred quid and we just said, let's just do something. And we just got started. That first client was a lead general. The best part is the trust. If someone refers you, that whole trust is already there. Referrals are very valuable for me. Warren Buffett said it takes a lifetime to build a reputation. The continuous journey is the most exciting part, even if you're not making money, it comes as a byproduct. And that's genuineness inside when times get hard and you're not making the sales, you think it, some people might just sack it off and get disheartened over the money not coming in. But I just keep going because I value the experience. Tell people exactly who you're going for. You need to tell people what you're going to give them. You're telling people about what the product's going to do for them and what the benefits are going to be. Have AI create a summary and give you key bullet points to cover in the blog. So start to be able to pump it out lots and lots more. Stop sticking with one idea, get AI involved and just go at it from a much more, just throw things at the wall, see what sticks and keep trying new things. Humans are definitely used in every workflow because otherwise you're, you're just ignoring the fact that business is humans, communication between one another. Make sure I have the human elements, make sure I get a proof check before it goes out. AI, AI is there to save you time, not to make you lazy.